Hey folks, we're at Page, Arizona, and we're just now getting checked into our Airbnb. We are about, I think, two hours away from the Grand Canyon. That's kind of the reason we came here. So let's go check it out. It's uh, room number one, upper left. That's a nice little place to sit. Here's the view. Wow, it's a big bird. What is that? Anyway, it's a pretty normal normal looking neighborhood. Let's go check out the inside. We're in room number one. It's pretty nice looking in here. I don't really love carpet myself for this type of thing, but looks okay. The bed is really pretty high. basic closet in here nice couch looks pretty clean large television personally I don't care about that uh, maybe we can't go in here probably it's further cleaning supplies and whatnot a little bit of information a big clock an AC system Heading over here to the dining area. Some nice pictures, nice table. More information. A couple windows. Little kitchenette. Uh, microwave, I believe there's a yeah, stove and a toaster oven, which this seems to be kind of standard on Airbnbs these days. Cheap coffee machine. plates, even a toaster. Looks very clean in here, not too dusty. The, the sink looks extremely clean. The cleaning crew, whoever does it, has done a good job, I, I'd say. Let's check out the refrigerator and freezer. Nice. Very, very clean. I like this a lot. Hmm. Wow. Sparkling clean in the refrigerator. Very good. Here's the bathroom. Hello. Uh, this is only out because I dried my hands with it a minute ago. Everything looks nice in here. Okay. Not sure if I can... There we go. It's a little bit loud, but when you turn the light on, the fan comes on as well. There's a toilet. Oh, wow. That's a nice looking shower. And we have a second little blow-up bed for our daughter Adriana, and we forgot to bring a, a quilt or anything with it, so luckily they have an extra quilt, so that's perfect. And with just about a five minute walk, you can get to the Safeway grocery store, as well as a Domino's, a Dollar Tree, and I don't know what that is. So prior to coming here, I never heard of the city of Page, but honestly, it is a nice little town. I think around 7,500 people, if I'm not mistaken, but wow, beautiful, beautiful scenery. Uh, nice parks like the one right behind me here. Nice uh, nice library. Get a chance to go to the library if you can. Beautiful view. Go to the back and there's just like a, an awesome like panoramic view of the mountains and stuff. Amazing. So it's a really nice town. As I learned, it's only been built in 1957 for the workers of the dam, like the construction of the dam in 1957. So you're probably wondering about the price. Well, it was $63 a night for five nights. But with the service fee and the cleaning fee, it ended up being about $89 per night. Now, you know, you can take that information and that's fine, but it all really depends on your situation because they can have different prices for different seasons, different prices for how many people are there. Sometimes there's like a five night or a seven night discount. So for us, it was about $63 per night, or excuse me, $89 per night. Um, which I think is a pretty good deal compared to the hotels around here, which are all like 110 plus, if I remember right, for like the three star hotels. Um, so we're saving a bit of money there. And honestly, this was a lot nicer and a lot cleaner than most hotels that you're gonna find. A couple other things to note is that although this listing, I don't believe had laundry mentioned in it, uh, I actually happened to bump into the manager, Mike, and he allowed us to use their laundry room that they 
you know, clean the sheets and all the beds and stuff and all the things in. I don't know if they'll let everybody do that or, or what, but you know, he mentioned, Hey, do you need your laundry? And we're like, actually, yeah, we will need to do some laundry. And so they have like a separate uh, room. He gave us a code and we were able to get in there and do our laundry totally free, which was awesome. Really nice of him to allow us to do that. We utilize that two times during the trip. Another thing I wanted to note is I actually broke the can opener in the kitchen and it was kind of a cheap one really, but anyway, I, I accidentally broke it when I was trying to open a can. So I sent them a message on the app and they have like a team of probably four people inside the app that can get back to you anytime. Anyway, within like 30 minutes, they brought me a brand new one. So they are so on top of it with the communication and stuff. I had an opportunity to talk to Hammy, who was like, I guess, kind of managing our room mostly. And, and I think she does like the cleaning and just like everything. And Mike, who seems to be the manager of, or is the manager of like all the rooms. It turns out after talking with him, he has a fifth or he's managing 15, uh, units, which are owned, I, I think by the same person. So really nice guy. Uh, Hammy is also super nice. So like overall, what do I think about this place? It's honestly, I have had over 30 Airbnb stays now. And this is one of the best, not that it's like the most amazing view ever. It's not like the most amazing location. It's a good location, all that. But um, in terms of the cleanliness and the value, it's one of the top ones for sure. And in terms of the organization, it has to be the top. Like they are really on the ball. And that's probably a lot down to Mike and how he's managing the team and stuff, if I were to guess. So anyway, overall, so... For me, the most important thing usually for an Airbnb or a hotel or wherever is cleanliness. I cannot stand having like a dirty or messy or disgusting uh, place where I'm staying. So even over, <laughs> believe it or not, it sounds crazy, almost even over like safety, I want to have a clean place. Okay, safety is pretty important too, but that's usually fine. Um, to me, the most important thing is cleanliness. And this is a five out of five stars on cleanliness. Next thing that's pretty important to me is having good communication. So if I have any trouble or if anything goes wrong or I need to know something, I like to have good communication. Again, five out of five stars here. They have like four people in the chat that you can, you can just like write and then one of them will reply back to you so fast. They are absolutely top. So this place is clean. It's in a safe neighborhood. You know, it's not like a glamorous uh, resort neighborhood. There's no swimming pool or anything like that. But the place is clean, it's very reasonably priced, and the management is on top of everything. So overall, I have to give this Airbnb, I didn't think I would do this either. When I started this channel, this is my first video, by the way, I thought like maybe I would have like a medium rating or something to complain about, but because I've had plenty of those. The one we were at just before this one, which I didn't consider to, to review, I just thought of doing this at this one, uh, I would add quite a bit to complain about. But no, this one is absolutely perfect. Like five out of five stars. If you're in Page, Arizona, I would highly recommend them. I will put a link to their properties if I can, all other properties down in the description. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below and uh, have a great day. Bye.